We just made this portable checkout counter for our craft booth, and we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do it, build it, or make it? So do we, and we have a new video each week. And this week, we're checking out something cool. Well, it's actually just a checkout stand for our craft booth. Yes, we have three weeks to end counting to the farmer's market. We have two weekends left, three full weeks, and we've already done our backdrop, so next booth item is our checkout stand. So we've been online, we this found some maker. ideas. This is the money maker right here. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's what it is. We found some ideas, but we think we can do it cheaper, faster. Cheaper, like almost free. Yeah, like almost free. Almost, almost free. Almost. So we're gonna we're gonna give it a go and we're gonna make our checkout stand. <laughs> Step one, we're gonna gather all of our materials. We really just needed this project panel. It's 16 by 36, a one by two, some hinges, and now we're going on a scouting mission to find two pallets, two suitable pallets. We think that the pallets will be the faster, cheaper version. So we've, we've seen some pallets like right down the road. Down the street, that around can, the corner, yeah. in the cold sack. Yes, that I think we can utilize for this project. And it looks like they're about the right height. I think I'm going to have Garrett cut off a little bit. And then we want to make this thing foldable. So we are going to cut one pallet into two pieces and put the hinges on it and make it collapsible. Yeah. So, so that's our plan. Let's go find our let's pallets. Let's go find the pallets. Step two, we're gonna make all of our cuts. We're really just gonna go down and cut up the uh, pallet. We're gonna make it 36 inches tall, 32 inches wide, and then the other pallet, we're gonna make 36 inches tall and 12 inches wide. But I am not lugging them up here so that I can tell you guys that and then take them back downstairs. So I'll meet you back downstairs. Halfway through our cuts, <laughs> Kim decided that this is going to be too heavy to lug in and out and set up. If she had to do it by herself, she said there's no way she'd be able to carry a two pallets. Well, yeah, so I was on my lunch break and I came out here as he was cutting these and I thought, this is a four by four and when I go to lift this thing, it's very heavy. She's got a mini hernia. <laughs> well, and I know we're gonna put two sides on it too, so. Like this might become a side and then I'm going to add another one. So he's going to cut this piece off right here. So it's only, what is this, 36 inches? Yeah. And then he's going to add the two sides so it will stand up. And once you add essentially this back on and another side, <laughs> I just don't think it's going to be easy to try. I don't even know how get to do it. Yeah, mm, lift it up lift. and then get it in and out of the car every weekend. So... <laughs> are we gonna pull these off and then put them on pickets or am I just gonna go get some pickets and, and build it from scratch well is this the pickets are so easy I say get it to get it get pickets because you guys know might not necessarily have a uh, palette to start with but if you do you could pry these off and use these as I'm just gonna swim there. Use these as pickets for the front of yours, or you can just go get the $2 pickets from the home improvement store, which I think will save you a lot of time because it's kind of a lot of work to pull these things off, right? And reuse them. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, they pretty right. much look like a picket, so I don't think you're losing any real, you Aesthetic. know, antique. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Perfect. <laughs> so we're going to take a Another detour. Trip. A detour, and we're gonna come back. <laughs> Step one, we're gonna gather all of our supplies. <laughs> we're gonna try it again. We really just needed a one by two, eight foot long, a project panel, 16 by 36, some hinges. I got four of them. Cause These you're making like, it? 
collapsible. Yeah, hingy type. And then we needed eight pickets, the dog-eared pickets. They're five by five, six foot tall. They are way cheaper than uh, like the planks or the two by fours. So still cheap, just not borderline free. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, at $2 each, that makes it what, $16? That's not too bad. Yeah, it's not too bad. I think it was only like $1.80 or something like that. Oh, even better. Yeah. <laughs> Step two, we're gonna make all of our cuts. <laughs> We're gonna cut 10 of these pickets down to 36 inches, two pickets. At 32 and a quarter inches. And they're gonna be used as cross braces. Oh, that's right, they're gonna be used. To kind of hold the pickets onto something. Four pickets down to 12 inches. A one by two at 36 inches. And then two pieces of one by two down 15 and three eighths of an inch. And these are gonna be mounted underneath the project panel it's going to help hold the top on so it doesn't slide around. We're not going to attach the top to the, what is it? The base? Brace? The, yeah, the, yes. The half square? <laughs> We're not going to attach the top to the base, but we are going to set it on there, but we don't want it to slide around while we're working. So we're going so to give gonna, it a lip. Yes, it's just going to put a little frame, a little lip on the inside. And then we should have a little bit of scrap, like six inches. We're just going to cut that in half. Again, use it on the inside of the lip so it just won't move around. And we're gonna make all of these cuts with, woo, my pocket saw. I carry this guy everywhere with me and he's seen a lot of action lately. <laughs> like a lot of action. So busy. He's been coming in and hitting some big stuff lately. It's getting really, getting really beefy, getting bulky, a lot of practice. And now we're gonna assemble it. We're just gonna take this a 32 inch board and lay it across all of the 36 inch boards. And then we're gonna screw it down using an inch and a quarter screw. Self tapping. So we don't even have to drill pilot holes. Yeah, I'm hoping you can see that all six of the 36 inch boards are just all lined up here. One right next to the other. Yep, got the bottoms lined up. Face down, so the good the good face is down. This is all the trashy side. It's not that bad. Now we're gonna, the inside. we're gonna put one brace 12 inches from the top and the other brace 12 inches from the bottom. And we're gonna kind of give them a little space here. We're gonna use these 12 inches as a spacer. Make sure we get it centered. Right. You all lined up down there. All right, you said 12 inches though. Are you looking oh, to... Yeah, 12 inches. Oh, maybe that's too close. Yeah. We'll just go six inches. How about that? Yeah. Right. Six inches from the top, six inches from the bottom. It's going too deep. Yeah, it just needs to be able to fold out. All right, we're good. All right. I'm gonna start with the ends. Ooh, board just twisted. So we're gonna use screws because we're planning to assemble and disassemble this each week. We're trying to make this collapsible so it's not gonna stay there, it's not gonna be a permanent thing. So we didn't wanna just put some brad nails in there. Brad won't be able to hold them. <laughs> yep, so we're gonna use these screws and he's trying these new star tip screws. Around. And he added four to each end because this is where we're going to mount the hinges and it's going to get a lot of the pressure. These are the pressure points. Yeah, I just want to make sure that will hold. Oh, we got it. Oops. Paper didn't make it. All squared up. Okay. 
Did Kim screw it to the table? No! But it did come through. I went deep. It went like, it went down in there. Pickets are softer than you would think. Now I'm gonna have to fill this hole. <laughs> I really fixed it up. All right, front's all done. That's definitely lighter than a pallet. Yeah, that four by four in the pallet was just, I think that was just making, it, it was just even heavier. Now we're gonna do the sides. So which are the backs? Back, back, back and back. Now we're just gonna line these up with the edge. And we're gonna need one to measure up from the bottom. Deep. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we got our little picket pieces all picketed back together. So then there's this side, that side, and then a big front facing side. Ugh. All right. It's not super light. Jeez. We're just gonna use these little four inch strap hinges with the inch and a quarter screws again. Why do you call them strap hinges? Is that what they're called? Yeah, that's what they're called. Or I just made it up. I'm pretty sure that's what they're called. All right. You gonna use the same screws? Yeah, same screws. Woo, screws everywhere. Here, do you want me to do it? I'll hold it. Okay. We're gonna take this top and put those one by twos. We're gonna put the one by twos around it like a little frame to help hold it. But we're gonna do it from the top down. So we're just gonna scooch this up underneath the board with a little bit of glue on it and use a one and a quarter inch bread through the top to pin it together. The nail, not the guy. Just gonna slip it up under here. We're building on what we built. Oh, here, put one of these on the other side. <laughs> now, we're just gonna use the 15 and 3 8 inch boards on the, on the sides. the top that's the bottom side of the top that's the top side of the top and we'll fold that out let's see if it fits we'll fit it in upside down and laying down oh, it. What happened over there? I think this hinge is out. All right, so this board right here is bowed pretty good, and so is this one. Like, they're almost concaved. So through the measurements though, so I'm gonna just take a little shave, like a little half inch off this board using the circular saw. These inside braces, we're just yeah, gonna trim those braces. and make them smaller so that this fits in a little tighter. 
give it a little smooch. Again. Okay. Step four. Whoa. Now we're gonna stay. We used briar smoke on the wall, our wall panels behind us in the, in the booth. So I think I'm gonna use briar smoke on this as well. So I'm just gonna give it a coat of stain, wipe it off. And then I'm going to add our paint technique on top. Same technique as, uh, as the backdrop, so they match. Yes. Cohesiveness. Um, yes. I can't even believe how well this thing is going to match. It's going to look gonna like... It's going to look like an outdoor store. <laughs> it is. It is. <laughs> Now we paint. This is the scraper. We're gonna paint it with that same scraping technique we used in the, the last two videos. We want it to all look consistent, but we have a problem. <laughs> I couldn't find the metal scraper, so we're gonna try to use a plastic scraper. And we're down to nubbins on the paint. I don't know if we have enough to cover it. It's gonna be tight. I think, I think we'll be okay, but <clears throat> we'll just have to give it a try and see. <laughs> and we'll, we'll doctor it up until it looks the same-ish. What do you think? Our new checkout counter for our craft booth. Quick, easy to set up. Kim can carry it in and out. Nice and easy. Portable, making collapsible. Yeah. Stowable. Stowable. All those Good other one. words that mean uh, transportable. There you go. More a bull's moves. All right, we're about out of time. So if you're not joining us for the patron after show, we will see you next week where we'll do it, build it, and make it again. I can balance the top. You actually have something I can balance. Woohoo! <laughs>